Hello everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. I'm so happy you found me. I have a Dollar Tree Fall DIY for you today. In today's crafting adventure, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful acorn wreath. All of the materials that I used to make this wreath came from Dollar Tree. I'm really into the acorn decor this year. I really do hope you like this new acorn wreath tutorial. Let me show you how to make it. To get started on today's project, you will need one of these football wreath frames that you can pick up from Dollar Tree. At one end, you'll want to tie on a piece of jute cord. This is what we're going to use to hang the project when we're completed. You will also need a fat quarter from Dollar Tree. Any type of fabric that you choose is fine. You just want something that is kind of in the brown tones that reminds you of fall. And a craft fabric is 18 inches by 21 inches, which is plenty. You could probably get by with just half of this amount. So the first thing that we want to do is measure our fabric. Now this one does have a pattern and I kind of placed it both ways. I don't really like it going horizontal. I much prefer it going vertical. If your fabric has a pattern on it, just play with it for a little bit and decide which way you'd like that pattern to go. I had a lot of different choices. I decided to go with this one. I was also looking at some really pretty plaids. So keep your mind open when you're looking at your fabric. Then you just want to measure on either side. You need at least a half inch of extra fabric on either side, so just kind of measure that. So it looks like just about 12 inches and that's perfect makes it easy for me because it's right where the pattern is you want to do the same thing with the length because you don't want too much excess fabric when you start to wrap the base Now when you start to wrap the fabric, you just want to come up past the center point by about halfway. We'll be covering the top in a different material and you'll cover the very tip of your fabric to keep it clean. So you want to make sure you leave enough fabric up near the top here for that. Now you want to start to attach it at the widest point to make sure that you have enough fabric on either side. And I just start by adding hot glue right there to the wreath form. Just do small sections at a time. Just be cautious, the hot glue will come through the fabric. Do small sections at a time so that you can make sure you can get that as smooth as possible. You want to try not to get any wrinkles or creases. When you get down to the bottom here, you will have a few creases. That's the only way that you can fold it in. 
but it will look okay. Just try to get the rest nice and smooth. And do this side and then do this side as you work down. That way you'll have better luck at getting everything attached without any wrinkles. See, that's looking nice and pretty. Now I'm going to do that down to about three inches from the point on either side, and then we'll fold it to glue in that corner. Okay, so to do the very point down here, we're going to want to pull the top part here smooth down. And then it's gonna tuck in here on the corners. See? So I'll show you again. To do the center, you wanna pull this all the way down like this. So it's nice and smooth. We're going to tack it down right here. Right here. Then on each side, you will need to do a little fold and then wrap it around, okay? So once you have your fabric folded so it'll lay smooth, then tack it down. You want to do the same thing to the other side. Pull it down to you get that little crease. We will cut all this excess fabric off once we get it tacked down. Now you can go in and start trimming any excess fabric. Now just finish pulling that in and tacking it down.
I think that looks fabulous. Next, you're going to need a couple packages of decorative nautical rope. I have the 9.5 feet. Now, uh, when I picked out my fabric, I went over and picked out my rope. They had a couple different shades of rope. This one I thought looked best with the fabric that I chose. So now what we're going to do is wrap the top section here of our acorn in the rope. You want to start a little lower than where your fabric is. We want to make sure that this doesn't fray and that it doesn't show. So that's why we're going to start a little lower. And I'm going to glue it down here in the back and then I'm just going to wrap all the way around, tacking down as I go. Let's get this guy tacked down. You want to make sure the knot stays in the back. So just add a little bit of hot glue, pull it into place and let it set. So I'm just going to lay down a little bit of hot glue and get this end down here in the back. Once your glue has set up, you can start to wrap. You want to get the first one down nice and even because that's what's going to set the tone for the rest. Once you get to the other side, tack it down. continue to wrap. You just want to keep that rope nice and snug. Now as you wrap, because you're going from wider to smaller, you're going to need to tack it down in several places on each strand to keep it in place. Otherwise, it's all going to want to slide forward. Okay, just continue to wrap until you get to the top. Now I've wrapped my rope all the way up to the top here and I wanted to show you how to finish it. So we have a small hole left. I cut the end and what I'm going to do is take this end and glue it right down into that hole. But first we need to close the end just add a small dab inside the end. Then grab and twist. Just be careful not to burn yourself. This will seal all those ends together. Put a small amount of hot glue inside. Make sure that you have your hanger out and then tuck that end in. And that's how you finish the top. Okay, so it took just over two um, packages of the rope. This is how much I have left from the third package. I think that is absolutely adorable. Now we get to decorate. To decorate the top of our acorn, I pulled out a few items. I grabbed this one stem of maple leaves. I really liked those dark colors. I thought they went very well with the color tones in the acorn. 
And then this is from a Dollar Tree pick. This is what the pick looked like. I already used the pumpkin and the leaves. But I have these two and I thought they would also add nicely to the top. So you just need to remove the paper at the bottom to separate them and then we can trim the length however long we need it once we decide where we want to place those. But on these you want to push your leaves all the way up to the top. Now it will pop off if it doesn't have a top. Oh, this one has a top, it's still popped off. So you need to be careful about that because you don't want to lose your greenery. So if you have one that pops off real easy, just add a little dab of glue and then put it back on. Again, push those leaves up. And then trim, you only want to leave maybe about an inch. Now we're going to be doing the decor up here and I'm thinking about putting a bow at the very top but we'll see once I get the other greenery. Once that's down you're not going to see this strong point at the top and it'll look wider and more like an acorn once we get our decor here at the top. Now you just need to play with your bundles of leaves Go in there, flatten them out, make sure they're facing in the direction that you want, grab them and twist them. They are artificial, so make sure that they're doing what you want them to. So that way, see, I kind of pulled everything forward, I flattened it out. Now I kind of like that, laying down. And I'm just going to glue it right to the rope. Like I said, I'm going to put a bow up here so that little mess that I'm going to have all my ends will be covered by the bow. I can also fill it in with a little bit of leaf. Feel free to trim up the leaves if you need to, if they don't have the right color tones, and make your own. Like this just has the two light colors. I want one more dark because I'm going to put it on this side. So I have a good base of leaves down. Now I'm going to add my berries and my pine cone. I already trimmed my ends. You just need to decide where you want to put them, how long you want them to come out. I'm thinking I'm gonna put this one right here. And I want to put my pine cone kind of coming out. Now remember you can always bend these so if you need to bend that to get it to lay right go ahead and do so. I like that. 
So I'm going to glue them in right there. And you just need to take your time and allow that glue to set up. I'm going to add one more leaf right up here at the top to kind of help hide everything and then my bow will go at the top of that. Now remember if your leaves aren't laying the way you want, just tap them down. A small drop of hot glue does wonders. I think that looks very pretty. We're going to work on the bow now. And I'm going to do a simple hand tied bow. Measure your tail at six inches and pinch. I'm going to measure at another six inches and pinch. Measure an additional six inches, pinch and bring that to the center. And then measure another six inches and cut. Take a pipe cleaner and wrap it around the center. Before you tie it down, just check your loops. Make sure they're the same size. If they're not, do whatever adjusting you need to. Pull down tight and twist. Now this ribbon I picked up at Dollar Tree. They're going to have it again this year in their fall section. I like this ribbon. It is their faux burlap ribbon. You can get it in green or orange. Then just play with your bow. Open up your loops. Pull your tails down. If they don't lay right, you want to go right down to where it's tied. Open them up and pull them until they lay the way you want. Just, I like to hold the center. It makes it easier for me, plus that way I know I'm not going to pull it out. Sometimes you pull too tight or too hard and it comes out. But there's your basic bow. Now just give it a couple twists here on the back and then trim off any excess pipe cleaners. And then push those ends down. Now I want to put my bow right at the top here. I didn't know if I wanted long or short tails. Looks like I'm probably going to go with short tails. I want to be able to see more of this. And then I'm thinking about putting one of these cute little acorns right in the center of my bow. I think they're so cute. They did such a nice job. I think that in the center, and then my bow here, and then I will trim my tails. But let's get this guy glued on first. You want to place that right here at the top. And I'm going to 
add my little acorn. Okay, I'm gonna get my tails trimmed and then I'll come back and show you the finished product. And there you go, we are all done. I think the bow and the acorn were the perfect final addition for my acorn wreath. Now this is a very budget friendly craft. It'll cost you less than $15 to make this beautiful and unique acorn wreath. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and show me some love in the comments. This really does help support my channel. It lets YouTube know that I have content that's worth watching and then they show it to more people and my channel grows. Thanks so much for stopping by. You know it's always a pleasure to see you. I hope everyone is staying happy, healthy, and strong. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.